Hi, this is Kevin for Pixavert.com. In this video, we are looking at how to create all manner of borders inside of Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC 2018 and we've got a lot to go through so let's get going. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a Polaroid border and this is going to involve turning this landscape image into a square format image. We're going to do that using the crop tool so I'm going to select the crop tool and I'm going to choose one to one square as my preset. I'm going to just move this to center the image and I'm going to hit OK. Next I'm going to open up the layer panel by clicking on the lock icon and then creating a new layer called solid color and we'll make that white. We'll drag that to be the background underneath the photograph. Going back to the crop tool I'm going to click inside the image and holding down Alt I'm going to expand the image. This gives us a nice white border and just zooming out a little bit I'm going to click again and drag out a somewhat longer border at the bottom but as you can see that doesn't quite work so I'm going to undo that choose clear for the ratio and then escape click again and then we're going to drag out the lower border. This gives us a nice Polaroid style finish to our image. Okay, we've got the retro out of the way. Let's go and look at something a little bit more traditional. We're going to add a nice soft border to this image. Again, I'm going to unlock the image. I'm going to create a solid color. Make that white and drag that behind the image. Using the elliptical marquee tool I'm going to drag out a circle just center that somewhat and then I'm going to go to the image and click on the layer mask icon that gives us a nice layer mask we can now go to the properties panel and give that a nice blur that gives us a nice soft looking fade we can if we want to double click on the lower layer make that black, go to the layer mask and then reduce the density and that gives us something like a traditional vignette. I'm going to delete the layer mask and I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to choose convert for smart filters and I'm going to apply camera raw filter. We'll go to FX go down to post crop vignetting and drop this a little bit then we'll hit OK and we've now got a really subtle looking authentic looking vignette you can double click to open up the settings there and you can lower the opacity of the effect if you want to so that's a couple of ways of creating a vignette let's look at another technique this time I'm going to add a double border to this image. Again, we'll open up the image. We'll go to the FX icon and choose Stroke. Now if you've got some strokes inside your layer styles, let's get rid of those. Just click on the dustbin until all the strokes are gone. Okay, now go to the FX icon and choose Stroke and this allows us to start nice and fresh. We're going to increase the size of the stroke. I'm going to choose white as usual. I'm going to make the stroke 20. 
pixels. We're going to choose inside normal opacity of 100 and I'm going to make sure that overprint is not selected. Then I'm going to hit on the plus icon next to the stroke and that will create two copies of our stroke. We'll leave the top one and go to the second one and increase the size of that one to 30 pixels. Leave it at inside normal, turn the opacity down to zero. Then we'll go to the bottom layer or the bottom stroke and choose a size maybe one or two pixels larger than the second stroke. So I'm choosing 31. We'll leave the position inside blend normal opacity 100 over print switched off and we're done. Now you might see that there is something of a problem there so to fix that we'll just duplicate the layer by hitting Control or Command J. Go to the lower layer, right click and choose clear layer styles. Alternatively you can just drag the layer icon, layer styles icon down to the bin and that gives us our double border effect with a nice margin line to add a little bit of elegance to our image. And finally we're going to create something a little bit different. We're going to unlock the, unlock the image, duplicate the layer and on the top layer I'm going to use the marquee tool to create a round selection just covering our entire image and we'll add a layer mask. Now that gives us this kind of layer mask. We'll create a solid color layer, make that white, drag that right to the bottom and then switch off the top layer. That allows us to work on the second layer which has no layer mask. We're going to use the magic wand tool. I've got a setting of add which is the second icon here. I'm going to choose 3x3, three three, tolerance of around 30 or more and I'm going to choose anti-alias. I'll switch off contiguous and we will get going. I'm just going to click on the background so that we choose all the background. It's not perfect but it should do. We'll go to the layer mask icon and hit OK. You can see that gives us an inverted mask. We're going to hit invert in the properties panel and I'm just going to work on the layer mask a little bit with a brush. I'm going to hit D on the keyboard and if you don't see a white brush in your color picker just hit X and that should bring, bring it up. I'm just going to fill the mask so that all of the bird is showing. That's fine, the mask doesn't need to be perfect but I'm just going to add a little bit more of a selection down here. Next I'm going to turn on this layer icon so that we can see the top and then we'll go to the mask icon and hit the feather and zooming out you can see we've got a nice we've got a nice fade and we've got this little patch here which is showing the perch of the bird. I think I might do an extra effect for this particular style later but for the time being I think that's a cute looking effect. Okay so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you found that useful. Till next time take care. Bye.